Hey, man, you like movies? I do, I do, I do. Hey, you like coming to the Draft House? I do. The Alamo Draft House here in Montecito and El Paso? Yes. Then you know what? <laughs> this is the show for you. Another edition of Talk Nerdy to Me starts... Now. Hey, listen! Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or Eve? What kind of class do you play, girl? In an RPG? Cause I know what them elf girls need. From wild- I'm Jack Lutz. Troy Singer. And we just got done watching Kingsman Golden Circle. Here at the Alamo Draft House in El Paso, I'm Montecillo. And uh, what did you think? I liked it. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot, you too. Like it, dude? I'll tell you what, man. I would be very okay with them making more. It has a very hip Bond feel to it. It's like Bond with a sense of humor. Yeah. More stylized fighting. Yeah, more uh, uh, sex jokes, <laughs> you know. I, I totally dug it. Uh so go out and, and see it right there. No, we're going to go more into this. So uh, the movie stars again, uh, Tyrone Egerton, who plays Eggsy. And you have uh, Colin Firth, who reprises his role as Harry Galahad also. Yep. You have Mark Strong coming back as Merlin. And you've got uh, an expanded cast. Julianne Moore plays the villain, Ms. Poppy. Very well. Who, <laughs> he, she has a very uh, 1950s villain twist to... Uh, the film, she is the drug dealer in the in the movie. She's almost a typical Bond villain. Yeah, I mean, with a really cool twist. I mean, yeah. it's good to see a, a, a really cool female ballsy villain that we Speaking just got done seeing this. Yeah. They brought another strong female. Yeah, in. Halle Berry Halle as Berry. Ginger Ale. And also you have, uh, let's see, uh, Pedro Pascal. I'm trying to remember his name. Pedro Pascal, Pascal yep. as uh, Whiskey. Whiskey. You know him from Game of Thrones. You also have Channing Tatum as Tequila. Yeah. And we're missing... You got Colin Firth, Channing Tatum, uh-huh. Halle Berry. Uh, uh, oh. oh, the Who? Big Lebowski. Yeah. Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges. You almost don't recognize him because he's mm-hmm. clean shaven. Champagne. For it the really, first time It's in like, okay, it's that accent now is just like a second skin to him now. <laughs> it's weird hearing him talk without a, a southern accent now. Yeah. So you saw him, and then you see a very, very cool uh, cameo, really. It's really a... You know, the, you're going to see a certain musician. They're going to be spoilers. Yeah, well, that's, that's a little more than a cameo. He's yeah. got he's, he's got a pretty good fight scene. He has a pretty good fight scene, <laughs> and he was funnier in hell in the movie. All right. Well, he's spoilers. in the credits. You spoilers. know he's in it. Elton John. Elton John Elton is John. in it. I mean, Elton it's John in the credits. The Everybody knows. Yeah, yeah. I mean. But what he does, he's just. He rocked it. Elton John could be one of the Kingsmen. It made, it made you realize, oh, you know what? Elton John rocks. It made you, re- made you remember how much you liked Elton John. And, yes. uh, you know, the movie, uh, if we can give a, a quick synopsis. So, Julianne Moore's character is the main drug dealer, uh, Ms. Poppy. And she sends out some missiles taking out the Kingsmen. Almost, well, really, almost every, every Kingsman. And... Uh, it's just right now, it leads you to believe it's only Galahad and Merlin, uh, Exy and Merlin yeah, left. sole surviving members. Right. And so they join forces with the statesmen who are their American cousins. So they come together and they try and stop Ms. Poppy. Again, check it out. I loved it. I, I liked it as much, if not more, than the first one. Yeah, and yeah. I would be very much okay if they made more of these. I, yeah. I really hope they do. Yeah. This is this generation's answer to James Bond. Yeah, yeah. Uh, James Bond, a lot of them think he's kind of stuffy mm-hmm. and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. This is more action. It's more stylized. And mind it's you. And mind you. This funnier. Is all, and this is also stemming from, you know, a comic book series. Dave Gibbons also. Secret Service. Yeah. Uh, Dave yeah. Gibbons and... Um, mm-hmm. I'm drawing a blank. Mark Miller. Mark Miller, yeah. Yeah, of Kick-Ass and Wanted. I was waiting for it. I was oh, waiting for it. That took a while. That yeah. hurt. That, yeah, that you hurt. brought it out there. Brought I it had out to reach there. way back. Yeah, so uh, again, this is a great uh, surprise hit from a comic book series. A lot of people didn't know that uh, this was based off of a comic book series, yeah. but that's okay. You don't need to know, uh, you know, you don't need to know about a backstory going into comic books. Yeah. I hate it when people say, well, if you read the book, you shouldn't have to do your homework when you go into a movie. No. No, and you don't have to do it any helps. of that. It no. helps to have a little backstory, but it's not right. required. You don't have to do any of that. If you haven't seen the second one, uh, if you haven't seen the first one yet, I highly recommend you see that. It flows great that would into be the a second one. killer marathon to see those back-to-back. Yeah. Back. I, I should Alan buy Alan Draft House, you guys listening? Yeah. should buy that. They, they got the Galaxy Quest showing right now, which is 
Oh, I almost, awesome. I almost walked out to go see I that. I remember seeing Galaxy <laughs> Quest. I feel like Abe Simpson. I'm going you on a tangent. Seen... No, I remember seeing oh, Galaxy I Quest. You in high... I remember seeing that in high school, and I'm like, that's God, a... this is good, but I don't want to tell anybody. Yeah. And then it became a cult classic. So that's also being shown here at the Alamo Draft House here at the uh, Montecito uh, area. And come by and see this movie. It's a great film. I, I liked it. Money well spent. Let's you... interview some people. Yeah, let's see what the people let's thought. The, we liked it. Yeah. Let's see what they think. All right. All right. Nice segue. Thank you. All right. We just watched Kingsman. Uh, what did you think, sir? It was a great movie. It was a lot of fun. What was your favorite part? I would say uh, the uh, introduction of the Statesman was my favorite part. Tequila. <laughs> Channing Tatum, of course. What did you think about Elton John? Elton John was actually pretty funny, especially when he was dressed in all the feathers. Yeah, who knew Elton John could kick that much butt, right? <laughs> yeah, the flying sidekick was something interesting, to be sure. <laughs> Especially when he looked right at camera to do it. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so do you think this one held up to the first one? Absolutely. I was really impressed with it. Usually sequels do really bad, but this one did pretty well. Yeah, they, they were predicting a sophomore slump, but uh, I, I really liked it. I, I thought it was good. Yeah, they did really well. The Kingsman was a great <laughs> series, and I think this is a great continuation of it. So, so you'd recommend people to come and watch it? Absolutely. Great, thank you. All right, sorry, what's your name? Clay Smith. Clay Smith. Okay, what did you think about the, uh, the Kingsman? I, I thought it was just okay. It was a little oh, too much over the top for me. And um, I saw the first one, and, and I hardly remember it. And, I, and I, like, I like, like, James Bond movies and stuff, so I don't know why I'm not attracted to this movie, but um, I just wasn't impressed. Maybe it was Channing, too much Channing Tatum. Uh, yeah, maybe so. <laughs> I did um, like Elton John in it, though. That was funny. Yeah, Elton John scenes were, I think everybody liked those. Um, so you thought the action was a little too much? Yeah, yeah, I did. It was a little different action. It was more stylized fighting, a lot of the slow motion capture and stuff like that. But uh, would you recommend anybody else coming to see it? Probably because, you know, my, my daughter and her husband just are crazy about these movies. And so I think it, maybe, it's, uh, maybe it's an age thing. I don't know. Maybe the younger people are just more attracted to it, or, or maybe it's just me. I don't know. I can't say. Oh, well, that's okay. So we had one good, one not so good. So we're checking out some of the reviewers, some of the people that went in to go see Kingsman, Golden Circle. Oh, my God, you guys are, like, way too young to be in that. You guys went in with your parents, right? Yeah. Or you yeah. must have a really awesome fake ID, huh? Uh, don't have one. <laughs> what did you guys think of the movie? It was pretty good. Yeah? Did you? What'd you like? Uh, I liked the part uh-huh. <laughs> where he, the guy had the, had the lasso and it turned out to be electric. Oh, yeah, and he cut up some dudes. Man, that's crazy that you're okay with seeing that sort of stuff. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> but you like the movie, right? Did you guys see the first one? Uh, yes. Yeah? yeah? Okay. So do you think that this is uh, better than the first one? No, I kind of like the other one. Yeah? Mm. But is this one just as good, though? Yeah? Mm-hmm. All right. I, I, I had one quick question. Do you guys know who Elton John is? <laughs> you guys, that your, generational your parents, gap. Your yeah. parents got to play you some Elton John when you guys ride home, okay? You'll probably <laughs> recognize the song, it's just not him. <laughs> but you guys both liked it? Both thumbs up? Thumbs up. I'm Agent Fuzzy Naval. I'm Agent Pina Colada. We just got done watching Kingsman. Golden Circle here at the Alamo Draft House in El Paso, Montecito. Check it out. A lot of positive reviews. What do you see? What do you see? I'm talking to Merlin. Yeah? Yeah. He's saying we need to wrap it up. So let's wrap it up. <laughs> That'll do it for another edition of Talk Dirty to Me. Big thanks going out to Ray Work Productions for filming us. And he, he got you a shirt too, but it came with sleeves. Yeah, and had to return no, it. I know. <laughs> yeah, you, had to, you could have just cut the sleeves off. I hate you. Oh. <laughs> Cut the sleeves off. <laughs> and a big thanks, of course, going out to the Alamo <laughs> Draft House. So with that said, check out the movie. It is in theaters right now. Kingsman Golden Circle. I'm Jack Lutz. Troy Segner. Good night. Sleep tight. Yeah! Hey, listen! Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or e? What kind of class do you play, girl, in an RPG? Cause I know what them elf girls need.